All right, so I went to Harbor Freight last weekend. I bought this set. It came with, let's see, it goes from seven eighths up to two inches. So I came out here, it came with um, a couple of extensions, the ratchet and a breaker bar. So I came out here just to see if I could loosen this one up. It's just, it's just spinning right off. That was way easier than I thought it would be. So I, um, I did a little bit of research. My air compressor will not push an impact wrench. And the electric impact wrenches are really expensive. So I just elected to get the sockets for now. Make sure I had the size right. That is a one and five eighths. This is a house five foot brush hog, by the way. So I verified the size of the nut. Um, so with income tax money, I might go get an impact wrench. If not, I might just be putting my trusty lead pipe, which it's not that long. It's about the same length as my breaker bar. Uh, I might just be torquing it down as much as I can by hand and hoping it's good enough. As loose as that was, it, it might be fine, I don't know. So I chose to do this first. I haven't ordered the blades yet. Um, I wanted to verify everything. Uh, I want to actually take the nut and bolt to Tractor Supply, uh, make sure I get the right one, and then uh, Agri Supply actually has cheaper blades than Tractor Supply. I think it's uh, 50 bucks for the pair. Tractor supply is like 65 or 70. But the ones at Tractor Supply are for the County Line brand, which will probably work. But the ones on Agri Supply website, they actually say House 500 replacement. So I feel like that's probably a safer bet. So I guess we'll see if I can get this other one spun off. Hopefully it's as loose as the, the one I already did. All right, so I've been working on this brush hog. I finally got the bolt off that held the uh, PTO shaft to the brush hog gearbox. And as suspected, it's a little crooked. I ended up using a hammer and a punch to get it out. So I'm gonna take a look at the um, the shaft on the gearbox, I don't think it's splined. I think it's a smooth shaft. I'm gonna go to the tractor supply and more today. The two closer ones will not ship the, the brush hog blades to store. So I gotta drive to more, a tornado, a tornado hangout, we'll call it. And supposedly they have the blades in stock. So I'm going to pick up some blades and some bolts and I'm going to get, I'm going to take this one with me. I'm going to get some shear bolts. Now, I'm not sure what grade shear bolt I need. I got to do a little bit of Googling to see um, what is appropriate for my horsepower. Um, but I, once I find that out, I'll probably just get like, I don't know, nine or 10 of them and keep them in my pocket when I'm brush hogging. I guess uh, how this would work is once I get a shear bolt for that, if the shear bolt breaks, the, the PTO shaft keeps spinning like this freely and the brush hog just stops. So I'll, uh, I'll hit you back once I've gotten the new blades and stuff and we'll uh, see how much of a pain as it is to put them on. I've also got to get, I think the llamas hear me. 
I've also got to get the washer that goes around this, um, that sits on top of this part. I don't know technical terms, but I've got to get the washer and then a bolt. I'm going to put a bolt through this instead of uh, another linchpin to avoid this from happening uh, or prevent this from happening in the future. Well, I made it without incident. So here's what I got. Let's take a look. I got a pack of shear bolts. They didn't have different grades. This was all they had. And it is, it looks like the same size as this one. So I figured that's probably good enough. So the blade on the website said uh, $69.99. And this was the last set and it was $47.99 for two of them. So I actually took my blade in and held it up. I did a little bit of measuring. Um, the hole offset is a little different on the county line. And you can see that the end of the original is a little rounded. And this one is square. But it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the main thing is from the bolt hole to the end is about the same. If it was longer... Um, I might have to worry about it hitting something underneath, like the side of the brush hog, but I think there's enough clearance that it shouldn't be an issue. But you can see the difference in um, the length of the cutting edge. And I don't know if this one started um, square on the end like this one is, and it just got worn down and um, they just kept sharpening. But the reviews on this one... A lot of people were saying that they put them on their brush hog and it cut almost like a finish mower. So I don't know if I believe that necessarily, but I think that that the blade will work. It may hang down a little further. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It looks like it's a high lift blade. So I don't know. We'll see how it works. And then for the bolt, I just kind of had to uh, to get the closest one I could. I think these bolts were 20 bucks a piece. And they're pretty close. The problem is this section right here is a bit longer than this one. So once I get it on there, I guess we'll have to see. Let me stand these up. That might be better. Yeah, see what I mean? Um, there's a little more thread on the original. So I have to make sure that this one snugs up to the top of the pan. Um, if not, I might have to put a washer or two on there. And for that, I will have to go back to the store. Hey guys, this is yet another entry in the ongoing saga of the brush hog repair. It's getting a little ridiculous. Beth told me so the other day and I agree. Tractor supply is super annoying. Let me, let me sum this up. I finally went to get blades and bolts. They wouldn't ship to my store. So I had to go to Moore, which I, I hate going to that, that intersection, that area in Moore, it sucks. So they have blades, but they don't have my specific bolts or my size bolts. So I buy the closest thing. I'm gonna put a screenshot up of it right now. There's a difference in the thread length and the, I don't know if it's, it's probably not the shoulder, but the keyed part was a little longer on the, on the bolts I had to get. So I go to the hardware store. They don't have any washers big enough to, to take up the gap. My neighbor came over and helped me put them on and the, the blades wobbled up and down. So I decided, well, I have to fill that gap. I don't feel comfortable. So I go back to get washers and they have these county line blade bolts and they are as close as I've seen to the bolts that came off this brush hog. 
they're about, I don't know, quarter or eighth of an inch too short, but the amount of threads I had showing on the original bolts, it shouldn't be an issue. So two different tractor supplies have two different inventories and I can't get the, the stuff I need at the one closer to me or I can get half the stuff here and half the stuff there. So I bought the county line bolts and they told me I could return the other ones I got. What are they? Let's see. I think they're mono. No, they're not even mono. They're something else. So obviously there's no guarantee that those were going to work, but it was the closest thing they had. If you read reviews on the website, any, anything that's county line, that brand, their official response will be, this was intended for this model brush hog or this county line, whatever. And I'm sure it's for a uh, legal reason so they don't get sued or something. But let me just tell you, I got county line blades. I got them on sale. They were like $47.99. Normally they're about 75 bucks. And the two pack of blade bolts was $32.99. And it's the county line brand also. I'll show you the package. Just like that, that's it. So I actually have one right here. I'll just show you real quick and then I gotta get these on. I'm tired of messing with this thing. I just wanna get it done. Okay, original on the right, county line on the left. It's a little thicker right here. This looks about the same. This is actually a little shorter on the county line which I don't see being a problem. And as you can see, the original is just a little bit longer. All right, guys, it works. I went out and I um, cut for about two and a half hours the other night and no problems. To be very honest, these new blades cut better than the zero turn does right now. Granted, I just looked at those blades and they are in dire need of sharpening or replacement. <laughs> Probably just going to get another set, replace them, sharpen these and just kind of swap back and forth. Um, this whole brush hog thing was a huge pain in the ass. Mostly because I could not get all the parts I needed at the same tractor supply. Uh, one tractor supply had the blade bolts and the other tractor supply had the blades. Uh, I also had to buy the tools, which is not unexpected for me because uh, I don't have tools to work on any, any bolts or nuts that big. But now I do, so when it happens next time, it won't be as big of a deal. My goal was to spend less fixing this thing than I could buy a used one for on Craigslist. And around here, they're going for anywhere from 350 up for a five foot brush hog. Uh, most of them are this same shape, probably all the same specs. Um, I think this one's a house. Uh, most of the ones for sale around here probably are too. Uh, if it's not, like the the um, the rhinos and stuff like that, like people want a lot of money for the for the used for the used brush hogs. So the county line bolts worked. The county line blades worked. Um, I got some shear bolts. I don't know what grade they are. They just came in a, a pack of five. I think five or six. So I put one on and I didn't seem to have any problem, but I didn't hit anything. So um, I'm going to assume that it'll work. Who knows? Well, I guess we'll see. Time will tell. I've still got some more cutting to do, but um, it's done. I'm very happy about it. So if you've got a similar brush hog to this, um, likely the county line stuff will work. I mean, it's a toss up, but it worked for me. Maybe it'll work for you. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. This, this whole process took me 
probably two months, maybe more. It was a good two weeks of actively trying to get the parts to fix it. And um, there is a little wobble in the blades, but I think it's within the tolerances. Uh, you'll, you'll see grease in the clip I'm showing um, around the, the blade bolt because I was trying to, to take up whatever gap there was and the bushings I got, I greased them up. Um, but once I tightened the bolts down, they didn't move, like the blades were fixed. So nothing revolutionary for tightening the bolts. I just jammed a two by six under there, put it on the head of the, the opposite bolt so the, uh, the stump jumper wouldn't spin. And I actually had to take them off after I put them on and I could hardly get them loose. So either way, they were tighter than they were when I took them off, which I mean, a five-year-old could probably tighten a bolt more than that, but um, I didn't get an impact wrench. I just put my lead pipe on the, the breaker bar and I just torqued it as much as I could and I think it's good enough. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.